While a full-fledged revolt is now brewing in world cricket, several former chiefs of the International Cricket Council have joined hands to fight a move by the BCCI and England and Australian cricket boards to bring the game under their control. Just days ahead of the ICC board meeting, the cricketing world seems to have broken into two factions. At one end is the richest cricket board along with two cricketing powerhouses versus the rest of the cricketing world. Reason? The big three's hunger for power. Headlines today has accessed an email sent by former ICC President Ehsan Mani to the ICC and all the boards affiliated to the council. In the email, Mani has urged everyone to withdraw the proposal put forth by the BCCI, the England Cricket Board and Cricket Australia to revamp the working of the ICC. As reported by Headlines Today, the proposed changes suggested by the three heavyweight boards would have empowered BCCI, the ECB and Cricket Australia and would even tilt the revenue sharing model towards the big three. The former ICC president Ehsan Mani is now joined by the likes of Clive Lloyd and Malcolm Gray to urge the ICC to withdraw the proposal. We can only be a pressure group, we can point out the failings. Uh, we have no vested interest, we act in the interest, of, you know, we are there to protect the game. Uh, and the game is surely bigger than three people and three big egos. Money claims that there are question marks on quality of governance in one of the three boards. The former ICC chief accuses the proposed changes of undermining fair revenue sharing pattern and ignoring smaller cricketing boards with limited clout. And this issue could very well turn out to be a battle between the BCCI and the sulking PCB. Two former PCB presidents, Tokir Zia and Shahryar Khan, have shown solidarity with Ehsan Mani in the battle against the supremacy of the Big Three. And Mani is confident of gaining more support in the coming days. There have been journalists from around the world. There have been people like uh, Paul Marsh from Australia and Tim May from Australia, both uh, you know, former and present. Uh, heads of FIFA. They've been uh, people like Mike, Michael Atherton, uh, who's been uh, who's responded to this. People like Michael Holding. Uh, so I could go on with the list. With the top cricketing brass scheduled to meet in Dubai, one can expect many other boards to join in to protest against this proposal. With Borea Majumdar in Kolkata, Sports Bureau headlines today.